Hi everyone, this is Nia and for today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing of art supplies sent over by my friend Tracy. She sent me a bunch of art supplies before, but this time she really went to town and sent me three separate boxes, two filled with different watercolor paper for me to try as well as dot cards. And the biggest box here is filled with paint that we're sharing and she also made me a whole bunch of half pans. I mean, the amount of effort that she put into just packing everything is tremendous. It's really not the easiest thing to ship over these things to where I live. There are regulations where you have to name every item and price of these paints, which from what I know, each color or at least each of the series costs differently. And it's just such tedious work. So thank you so much, Tracy, for sending all these supplies and putting so much effort in packing these and getting them safely to me. All these boxes are filled with paint from different brands. This box here is probably torn from where they were inspecting the package. But yeah, prior to sending me these supplies, she emailed me to tell me that she wanted to try out Schminka. And she sent me previews of the colors for me to choose, which is why you'll see a bunch of Schminka boxes here. I thought we were going to share pans, but she ended up giving me big tubes instead and some where she only took a little bit it out. I'm going to go through the pile of paper here. I literally feel like I have an art shop with all these art supplies. She also gave me a couple of dot cards from Daniel Smith and Windsor and Newton. I've never done dot cards before so I'm super excited to try. I know that it's going to be very therapeutic and I'll probably do a real time of these dot cards so hopefully it can be beneficial for any of you who would like to get any of these colors to use as reference. Tracy sent me a lot of hot pressed paper knowing that I do a lot of detailed food illustration. It didn't even occur to me before that the subject I mostly paint would be better suited with hot pressed since it is better to create crisper edges for detailed illustration but this whole time I've been so used to using cold press that I just stuck to it and when I was fairly new to watercolors I actually found that hot pressed paper was a bit harder to control. I mean cold press is the go-to standard that's easiest to work with if you're just starting out with watercolors but in my latest Skillshare class I actually tried using the hot press paper and I found that it's really better suited for food illustration for my type of food illustration anyway it was much easier to get the details and cleaner edges so I might turn some of these paper into a food illustration sketchbook if I find the time. I say this, but I haven't even finished my current food illustration sketchbook. I haven't even painted anything personal for several months now, so we'll just see about that. But that's the plan. Next, I'm going to unbox and see all the paint that she sent me. You'll see a lot of Schmincke here plus other brands, but I'm just going to go through the paint tubes then move on to the half pans. Here are a bunch of tubes from different brands. I really like Windsor Newton from what I've tried personally. And this is the manganese blue. It's one of my favorites to use. I told her that I really like the clarity of the color. So she ended up giving me more manganese blue. And this one is Potter's Pink and I'm really excited to try it. She sent me an example of the Potter's Pink because it was a color that she was interested in seeing. And from the swatch, 
that she sent me it has a really nice transparent dusty pink color so i'm excited to see these brands here i didn't even know they exist it's roman schmal and white knights i've never even heard of these brands before so it'll be really interesting to see what they look like the next one, this is Mgram Ultramarine Violet. When I swatch this, it is quite underwhelming, but from the pan that Tracy sent me before, I tend to just keep going back to this color and I like to mix it with other colors. So she sent me this full tube to refill my almost empty pan and way more. This one box has so many different colors, a whole bunch of Schminke and Daniel Smith and a few others. I'm so happy that she sent me this buff titanium. Another friend, Joyce, sent me the stick version of buff titanium and I told Tracy that I really like the color and I recommended it. So she sent me this whole tube. I didn't even know she was going to send me all this. This is the one that I specifically requested. You guys know it, white gouache. I had a little giggle when I opened this because it's huge. I didn't even know that this huge thing exists. I'm always used to the little tubes that I use. So I'm really happy because I can't seem to find permanent white gouache here. I've only seen zinc white around, so I'm super stoked since I'm so close to running out of permanent white. I had fun opening this next one. I don't really get giant bubble wraps often, so I wanted to pop them. This is supposedly ink. It's Bleed Proof White by Dr. Paige Martins. Joy sent me a small container to try out before because I was looking for a very opaque white. She told me it crystallized, but I could still take it out with a palette knife and reactivate it with water. So I thought I would give it another go and hopefully it works out. So yeah, you can see that there's a huge collection of colors here, but we're still not done yet because we still have to go through the half pants that Tracy made me. None of these colors are something that I requested, but a lot of these colors are actually the colors that I used a lot from the supply package that Tracy sent me a while back. I've actually forgotten to mention some of the colors I wanted to restock because that was what she mentioned in the original email. She asked me whether I wanted any certain colors, but I've forgotten to name some of these like Naphthal Red, Hansa Yellow, and Quinn Red, but she ended up making these half pants for me filled with those colors, so I was super thrilled when I saw them. Thank you so much for being so thoughtful and attentive. Unfortunately, some of the colors were stuck together, but I just used my palette knife to separate them and it seemed to work out pretty well. We don't really get a lot of brands in the local art shop that I go to. You'd have to search online, but even then, there's not much option to choose from. And so yeah, I'm really curious about some of these textures. As you guys know, my first professional watercolor set is Holbein that I got from Japan. And Tracy sent me a whole bunch of different brands a while back, and that's how I realized that different brands tend to have different fillers so the paint though they use similar pigments or the same pigments the color still might vary in tone transparency texture and things even the way they dry on the pan and how it reacts is quite different so it'll be really interesting to try these out this was actually the main reason why Tracy sent me these which is very thoughtful she told me she wanted me to try different brands since it's hard for me to find different kinds of watercolor paint here Next, I already knew from the looks of it in the box that this would contain a bunch of Mgram watercolors, the stickiest watercolor paint that I've ever experienced, but they are really nice to use. For some reason, they just don't want to ever dry in the pan. I've had half pans from a couple of years back from the first package and it's still fairly sticky. I think it's probably the Himi Jelly Gouache version of watercolors or something. It's like jelly watercolors that will last longer than the so-called claimed original jelly gouache but at the same time i think this makes the reactivating of the color very easy which is why i like them as well different brands just have different qualities to them and it's really nice to be able to experience them to see what suits you the most
And here are all of the full pants and half pants together. She gave me a lot of doubles and triplets of my most used colors plus a bunch of new colors that I haven't tried before. In the next video, I'll be swatching all of these colors. It'll be a long video where I'll swatch it slowly one by one. So just like the dot cards, I want you guys to be able to use it as a reference point if any of you are interested in trying out any of these colors. I'm also not going to talk while I'm swatching, but I'll just put some soft music so even if you're not interested in the colors, it'll just be something that you can paint or study or work alongside of. And here's just a preview of the colors. I made a layout mistake when I was doing the second spread, but either way, there's going to be somewhat of an empty space due to the amount, but it just happened to be on the second spread instead of the last spread. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys don't mind this non-tutorial video every once in a while and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this huge art supply unboxing as much as i enjoyed going through them thank you again tracy for being so generous if you guys are still here thank you so much for watching till the end and i'll see you at the next one bye